Today, most of us have cell phones, which makes it easy to call 911 in an emergency. But did you know that cell phone customers in Rock County are now able to text to 911? Subscribers of all major carriers, including Cricket and U.S. Cellular, now have the option to text to 911 for emergencies. If your carrier is not specifically listed, please contact them directly to ask if they support text to 911. While text to 911 is available, it isn't meant to replace making a voice call. A voice call to 911 is still the best option because the 911 call taker is able to process the call much quicker and obtain your telephone device's location information. So when is texting a better option? Text to 911 should be used in any emergency situation where a voice call is not possible. Whether you are deaf, hard of hearing, or speech impaired, or you're in an area with poor cell coverage, or in a situation where you might be in danger if someone hears you making a voice call. The process of sending a text to 911 is the same as sending a text to anyone else. First, find the icon for the texting app on your phone. It may look different than this example. If you're not sure, please check with your cell phone service provider. Once open, tap the new message icon. In the Send To field, type the numbers 911 without spaces or dashes. In the Message field, be sure to include the street address of the emergency, as well as the city or town you are in. If you don't know the address, provide a description of your location. It could be a cross street or a landmark. In the message, also include the type of emergency and whether you need the fire department, the police, or an ambulance. Once the required information is in the message, just tap send. When your text message is successfully received, you will get a reply message from the 911 call taker asking additional follow-up questions. Be sure to answer these as quickly and as clearly as possible. And that's all there is to it. Again, texting to 911 is the same as texting anyone else. But there are a few important things to keep in mind when texting to 911. Let's go over those now. Unlike voice calls where you can call 911 from a deactivated cell phone, you must have a texting plan in order to text to 911. Currently, text to 911 does not provide location information like landline or wireless voice 911. So it is important to always give the location information along with the city or town in the initial message so help can be sent sooner. Try to keep the message short, 160 characters, as text to 911 is only basic text messaging at this time. So no pictures or videos. And remember, avoid text language or abbreviations as they can be confusing for the 911 call taker and could delay the response of emergency services. You should also be aware that roaming is not supported for text to 911 at this time, which means you must be physically within your carrier's coverage area for the text to be received by 911. If you are outside of your network, you'll receive a bounce back message asking you to place a voice call to 911. And finally, if you are in danger of being heard, please be sure to silence your cell phone before sending a text to 911 to keep yourself safe. And there you have it. In Rock County, text to 911 is that easy. So remember, the next time there's an emergency, call if you can, text if you can't. It could save a life. <laughs>